It is time to move on to the ultimate bowl of Eze. Oh, this is just chunky, chunky and beautiful. That should be about good. Oh, and I still have a little bit of that dry beef on my plate as well. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Timpu, Bhutan. Today we are going to Ha, which is about three hours from Timpu. But before we go, we're not going to go to one restaurant, but we're going to two restaurants here in Timpu. So we'll have two meals before we go. Then after that, we are going to drive uh, and go along with the My Bhutan crew to Ha. For breakfast today, we just arrived at a restaurant called Yangkil, and this is another family-run, home-style restaurant. We're here a little bit early, so not all the dishes are ready, but we did order some egg-fried rice, and I got some dried beef, and also gonna have some butter tea this morning on this cold morning to warm me up, and he is writing the menu of the day on the board right now. My butter tea has just arrived, which is called suja, and as I'm going to be sipping on this, I can really smell them cooking in the kitchen, the onions and the dried chilies. The aroma coming out of the kitchen is beautiful. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that is a really frothy butter tea. Oh man, it's just a little bit salty. Very warming stuff. Oh, so this one is datsi. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Shakam and shukam tazi. Shakam and shukam. Yeah, what is? Shakam means uh, dry beef. Okay. And shukam means this white chili. Oh, the white right chili. Okay. White chili. Dried. Yeah. Dried white chili. Oh, okay. And tazi means cheese. And tazi means cheese. Okay. Yeah. It looks really, really good. Um, and you should have seen my eyes bulge when he brought out this bowl of eze. Oh, I know this is a communal sharing bowl of. Eze, which is the dried chili sauce, but this is just extraordinarily beautiful. I love how it's just so rough. Uh, it's like just pieces of dried chilies. It's just glistening in the morning, in the morning sunshine. Got a fresh plate of fried rice with egg, and I think this is the red rice, as I can see the little kernels have a little bit of red in them. Let me just taste this first. Mm -hmm. Fried rice is just one of those things that is just ultimately comforting. And this is just a good simple plate of fried rice. There's egg in it, there's a little bit of cabbage, there's some carrots. You can taste that wok fry on it. This is a dish or a combination that I don't think I've had yet. It's called shukam shakam datsi. And what I like is that it's very, it's very soupy, almost like, like buttery, so the cheese shouldn't be too strong, which is good. And I better taste that before adding any of that eze. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's delicious. All oh, those dried chilies. They almost have like a tomato-y flavor to them. Wow, that's amazing. They're like a cross between chilies and bamboo shoots. And then that dried beef is salty and yeah, like like thick beef jerky. I love the, the dried beef here. It's so good. And then that sauce is not, not too cheesy. In fact, it tastes more like a little bit Kind of tastes like my butter tea. And this is a soup called jaju. And the green one is dambru, dambru. Dambru. Like, uh, oh, this thing. Uh, that is the... Spinach, like the spinach. Oh, okay. There's some spinach in here, and this is... What is it called? Pacha. Pacha, 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 jaju. pacha jaju. And it's some kind of like a cane um, that is in the soup, and then spinach, and then... And then the milk, it's kind of a milky, or is there butter inside? Butter, yes, butter. Okay, butter. And milk. And milk. Yeah. It's kind of a butter and milk broth. Let me try this. Oh. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, I wasn't expecting that flavor. It has a bitter, yeah, it has a bitter flavor to it. And you can taste ginger as well. Oh, that's a nice bitterness. Yeah, that's coming through nicely. Not sweet or salty at all, whatsoever. It's like a, it's kind of like a milky broth. Oh, that bitterness. It is time to move on to the ultimate bowl of Eze. 
Oh, this is just chunky, chunky and beautiful. That should be about good. Oh, and I still have a little bit of that dry beef on my plate as well. The dried chilies, the onions in there, it also has a unique nutty taste to it that I don't know if I've tasted in other Aze's so far. Um, kind of a peanutty, almost like a peanut oil flavor to it. That Aze is award winning. Oh, it's so good. That was some seriously good food. And yeah, that dried beef with the white chilies. That was insanely good. So this restaurant is called, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> this restaurant is called Yangkil Restaurant and it is on the first floor of this building. And actually just in the building over there is Kalden Restaurant, which is the restaurant we ate at on our first day when we arrived to Bhutan along with Matt. That is one of the best restaurants in that well for Bhutanese food that I've had so far. But this restaurant also serves delicious Bhutanese food. So two delicious Bhutanese restaurants within a five-step radius. We walked around for a little bit and the time has come now for lunch. For lunch today we're eating at a restaurant called Cyprus, which serves Nepali food. And we are waiting for Matt. Matt's gonna join us for lunch today. And it is still a really cold day. It's cloudy, it's windy. Yeah, it's just freezing out here. But we are keeping warm and Ying, are you keeping warm? <laughs> Ying is freezing and we are ready for lunch though. As we are sitting here, we're just checking the weather for Ha. We are in for some cold and maybe snowy weather. I'm starting to shiver just looking at that weather forecast. Dude, Ying was just checking the forecast in Ha. How are you? Oh, thanks, man. This is uh, Mark and Ying. Hello. Nice to meet you. It's gonna be cool if it's snowing. So, mm. we are here at Cyprus now, and as soon as we walked up the steps, I could just smell that incredible aroma of all the food. It's like a, it's, it's like a, a food sauna in here with the aroma, and the food has just arrived. A, an incredibly beautiful and colorful spread of dishes, and I love the, the golden metal plates as well. I'm just gonna scoop on some rice to base myself on, and then roti. Red rice? Red rice is well. This one is the chicken curry. Oh, that smells incredible. Okay. Oh man. And then along with the chicken curry, we also got beef curry. Oh, that's beautiful as well. Just nuggets of beef, and that gravy, that reddish oily gravy is beautiful. Uh -huh. Then we've got some kind of vegetable, maybe this is some kind of spinach. And then this one is like potatoes with chili, and yeah, this even looks incredibly good as well. I leave on Friday. Mm. And then another vegetable dish. I'm not sure what what is this one. Maybe could be eggplant. Put this onto my rice as well. And then this one is some uh, like yogurt curd. I think I will put this onto the side of my plate as well. And this is some kind of a like a pickle maybe. Oh, that is a, just a beautiful looking. Oh yeah, doll. I even forgot the doll. And even the presentation at this restaurant is beautiful. Oh, it's dal maybe with some extra beans on the bottom. Just drown it, drown it out. Oh, yes. I have my plate assembled. This is just an outrageously beautiful plate of food and colorful, so many different dishes and yeah, I'm actually almost shaking in excitement for digging into this plate. I'm gonna go in for a piece of that beef curry and some of that dal as well. <laughs> Dude, that is so tender. Oh, wow. That beef is ridiculously tender. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, those potatoes. 
it uh, has a little bit of a tangy sauce to it. And then I'm not sure if there's like mustard, mustard seeds in there maybe, but really, really good. <laughs> it's nice that you can do that. Oh, that is equally as good as the beef curry. Oh, maybe a similar sauce. Next I'm gonna try, I think that's, I'm not sure if it's that, if that is eggplant, and I'll, I'll eat a little bit of that curd along with it. Oh yeah. Mm. It is like eggplant. It's like kind of mushy like eggplant, but it has a little bit of a bitter taste to it. And then with that curd, it is nice and creamy, and that sort of like neutralizes um, the flavor as well, which, but in a good way. It goes so well together. I was so excitedly eating the rice that I actually even forgot about my roti sitting right here. So I will grab a piece of roti now. Oh, I gotta hit that beef right there. And there's a piece of chili. Because I heard a I'm gonna a lot of uh, restaurants do that. <laughs> this is award winning food here. That beef curry was so incredibly good and it went down so fast that we had to get a, a refill on it. Oh, okay. And oh, oh, I got some red onions on that bite as well. That is the dish of the meal. Thank you very much. Very, very good food. Delicious food. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Okay. Uh, freshener. Thank you. Not that my mouth needs any freshening after that meal, but that tastes good. Two back to back incredible meals. This Nepali restaurant, wow, Cypress Hotel. It reminds me of a meal. Uh, Ying and I were in Darjeeling a couple years ago and we ate at a restaurant. I will link the video below in the description box, but similar food, just ultimately warm and home style cooking, delicious flavors, very, very friendly and just a welcoming little restaurant. That was excellent, I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling amazing. We're gonna go, actually go back to our house and we're gonna wait and then Matt is gonna come and then we're gonna leave for Ha after that. It is about 5 p.m. We are getting a little later of a start than we planned, but that is all right. We are on our way now. A dog over here that is we call Crazy Dog because it really is pretty crazy. It runs around in circles and does all sorts of, it's full of energy. Actually, he's a pretty nice dog actually, but he is just a little bit over hyper. Hey guy. And also he like runs in the house all the time. Whoa, buddy. Okay, hello. How are you? Good, thank you. We have been driving for probably about an hour and I am using the the light from the back tail light of the car, but we're taking a quick break here. The road is pretty intense, just like a single lane winding around the mountain. Oh, the light died on me. Uh, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's cold and we're on our way. Dechen made us some sandwiches and also some wraps. I think this one is potatoes inside of roti. Mm. Oh, that tastes good. Oh, I can taste the ginger in those potatoes. We even have tea. So we are road tripping Bhutan style in style. Thanks to, thanks to Dechen. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. It's a uh, rika nut, which is betel nut, and in a leaf with lime, and this is very common throughout Southeast Asia. Um, um, our, our, 
our driver just made me one. Mm. Yeah, I do like the taste though. The taste is like earthy and and green and like smoky all at the same time. We just arrived to Ha and Ying and I are gonna be staying in a farm stay, which is like a homestay but a farm. And so we just arrived, we're going in now. Oh. What's your name? Oh, my name is Daniel. Daniel? Yeah. Nice to meet you. The family has just welcomed us into their home. We're sitting around the, the wood fire stove, which is really warm, and then we're just having a cup of tea. Uh, I'm 12 years old. 12? This is a really, really beautiful home, though. Really beautiful. And I love the wood floor, and they have some blanketed pads on the on the side of the, the walls for sitting but that stove is extremely warm feels amazing and I am just blown away already this place is beautiful it's a huge house uh, farmhouse and the kind of communal living areas over there where we just drank tea and this is Ying in my room where we're gonna stay tonight it is a good thing we have a heater right in the middle of our room as well so we are gonna keep nice and warm okay, we are gonna have dinner soon so they are cooking up the food there's some pork with turnip leaves and then this one is jaju oh yeah oh it's so warm did you did you finish with school? Yeah. Are you on break now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Holiday? Yeah. For how long? Uh, two and a half months. Oh, two and a half months. Yeah. Okay. And food is coming right now. Oh, I am loving this. Thank you. Thank you. They have prepared all a bunch of different dishes and just brought them, set them on the floor here. So we are going to dig in. I'm going to serve rice first. Let's see what this is. Oh, some kind of vegetable. What type of vegetable is this? Turnip leaves. Okay, turnip leaves. Okay. Oh, good. Turnip leaves. And then this one is... Oh, yeah. That looks like... Is it this dried pork? Uh, yeah, dried pork. Okay, dried pork. But this is the mostly fatty pieces. And yeah, I will taste a small piece of this. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite. The shakam, the dried, dried beef. Yeah. Okay, dried beef. This is shakam. Yeah. Okay. Yes, dried beef. One of my favorites. Okay. This one is that soup that was boiling on the on the stove. Oh, some vegetables in here too. Actually, this I think we ate this for breakfast. Very similar to what we ate for breakfast. Okay. And then this one is the emadatsi, which is the chilies chilies and cheese and butter oh looks good looks really good and then this one is potatoes this one smells really good I think I can smell some onions in here and maybe garlic as well this is just beautiful all home-cooked Bhutanese food and sitting next to the wood fire stove I am warm and toasty and this is just a beautiful house so I am gonna oh man I gotta have a piece of that dried beef and a little bit of cheese with that all that dried beef it's actually quite tender and just bursting with flavor oh that's crazy good okay let me try some of these turnip leaves mmm that is incredibly good too. Oh, you can really taste the ginger in those leaves as well. And they have a little bit of a texture to them too. They're not like soft like spinach, but really good flavor, maybe a little bit bitter. And I think there are some, yeah, definitely ginger and maybe some tomatoes in there as well. Mm-hmm. I think they are just sauteed maybe with some butter and some onions and maybe some garlic as well. Some of the emadatsi, which is cheese with chilies. It tastes like, like 
really, really good quality nacho cheese. Those chilies are a little bit sour and spicy. And then, yeah, that cheese is like thick, like, like the top of a pizza. This is the juja, which is a soup. And we had this actually for breakfast today, which is the only reason I know the name of it. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. It's like a milky, just slightly buttery broth. But I like how it's not salty at all. And then, I think that's a type of spinach in there. Mom said to take one of the chilies and then dip it into some of the salt. Dip it into the salt before taking a bite out of it. Oh yeah. Okay. You don't feel the burn at first, but like after, give me like a minute, and they start to like really burn. Oh, that's beautiful. And I like it with salt actually, that kind of, they're kind of like green beans, but we're really, really good green beans. We just finished with dinner. Today has been an exceptionally delicious day of food, starting from this morning with the Bhutanese breakfast, and then lunch we had that outrageously good Nepali meal, and then this home-cooked Bhutanese meal here tonight. Ying and I are just chilling now by the heater. Ying? Oh, hello, hello. Ying. <laughs> Ying is in a mummy of blankets over there, uh, but I think we are gonna sleep very cozy tonight and very warm, and keep very warm. So cool to be at this farm stay in Ha, and I'm gonna end the vlog for today here. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also leave a comment below, and good night from Ha Bhutan.